हाय दिस इज डॉक्टर भूपेंद्र कुमार शुक्ला टुडे आई विल टीच यू द थ्योरी ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज ट्रांसमिशन लाइन तो ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज अ टू और मोर कंडक्टर सिस्टम दिस इज वन कंडक्टर दिस इज अनदर कंडक्टर सो वी कैन से इन दिस पिक्चर there is two conductor system and what is the function of transmission line it carries the energy or signal from source into destination end and you can see the one end of the transmission line is connected with excitation and another end of the transmission line is connected with load this conductor contains enormous amount of electron and the property of conductor is represented by sigma and movement of electron produces uh, current and this first conductor is known as forward path and the second conductor is known as backward path finally we can say the transmission line is a two or more conductor system which guides the energy along its length what is the what is the main function of transmission line it guides the energy from source to destination so we can say if it is guiding the energy then we can say it's a guiding structure so let's see some examples of transmission line okay in this And these are the examples of transmission line in three pictures you can say uh, you can observe these three transmission line are uh, two conductor system between these two conductor there is free space between these two conductor there is dielectric and in this case the one conductor uh, both conductors are insulated and twisted why do we twist uh, the transmission line there is reason i will tell you later but the wave propagation the wave propagation between these two conductors in free space and what is the property of free space property of free space is represented by epsilon not and mu not in this case we can say the wave is propagating in the dielectric medium and remember that dielectric mediums are non magnetic medium and value of mu r is equal to 1 so these are the examples of uh, transmission line in next next slide we can see the geometry of the transmission line in this case you can see again there is two conductor system excited by some source source having some frequency and this frequency is known as operating frequency and with the help of equation c is equal to frequency into lambda we can calculate lambda and this lambda is known as operating wavelength and what is the function of this transmission line the function of transmission line it guides the energy from source to load and the word i have written here that is uniform transmission line if the cross sectional area of this conductor is same along its length and second for the second conductor uh, i should say for the both conductor if cross sectional area is same and material is same sigma is same then i will say this transmission line will be the uniform transmission line uh, we can say suppose that uh, cross sectional area is increasing uh, along its length then can we say it's a uniform transmission line answer is no the cross cross sectional area must be uniform along its length okay so i have uh, drawn one coordinate system 
this is the jet direction then I can say the wave is propagating along the jet direction this condition is very very important for the transmission line and this is called a spatial balance condition what is s s is the separation between these two conductor and between these two conductor there is dielectric medium it may be uh, free space it may be some dielectric material this condition must be satisfied then your transmission line will behave as a guiding structure okay let's see uh, uh, what is lambda lambda is nothing but it's a operating wavelength okay so the relation between uh, frequency and lambda is represented by this equation and you can see if you know the frequency then you can you can calculate the lambda or operating wavelength there are three regimes uh, before before studying about the transmission line or before studying about the microwave theory or antenna theory you should know about the uh, regimes what is uh, what are the three regimes the first uh, regime is suppose that this is the length of the conductor which is represented by l and what is wavelength wavelength is nothing but this is one cycle the length of one cycle is known as wavelength okay let's see one example what is the size of resistor it is about two centimeter and in domestic application we use the frequency of 50 hertz if we calculate the lambda then it is about 6000 kilometer with the help of this equation i have calculated here it is about 6000 kilometer okay let's compare 6000 kilometer is very very greater than the 2 centimeter then i can say this lambda is very very uh, greater than the size of element uh, what is l l is nothing but the size of element now in this case when you get this condition then you always apply uh, network theory or kcl or kvl means kcl and kvl is op uh, is applicable only for this condition okay now uh, take another situation this may be possible uh, optical signal what is the frequency of optical signal it is about uh, it is in in the range of terahertz range, terahertz so uh, i have considered here this is the optical signal and its frequency is 3 terahertz and this is the lens and the size of lens is 5 centimeter now calculate the operating wavelength with the help of this equation and put the value of operating frequency and operating wavelength is 0.01 centimeter let's compare the size of element and the operating wavelength you can see here you can see here your size of element is greater than lambda then you always you if you get this condition then you use ray optics ray optics now there is another condition there is another condition uh, when length is comparable with lambda length is comparable with uh, size of element is comparable with lambda then you use wave theory okay and I told to you this is this condition must be satisfied because uh, we are saying we are saying our transmission line is a, a guiding structure so for the guiding structure this condition must be satisfied look now uh, see something uh, this is the transmission line this is the transmission line and uh, sorry, this is the transmission line and in this case you can see uh, you can see this is two conductor system and this two conductor system is guiding the energy or signal along its length so this condition is applied uh, that separation between these two conductor must be very very less than lambda this condi uh, condition is satisfied then your transmission line is behaving like a guiding structure okay now what what will happen okay what will happen if we increase the frequency if we increase the frequency then lambda will reduce 
इट मे बी पॉसिबल वेन इट मे बी पॉसिबल यू मे गेट दिस कंडीशन वेन लेमडा इज रिड्यूसिंग देन योर लेमडा मे बी कंपेरेबल विद दिस एस एंड एस इज नथिंग बट द सेपरेशन बिटवीन दिस टू कंडक्टर वेन दिस कंडीशन इज अचीव देन योर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन स्टार्ट स्टार्ट रेडिएटिंग द एनर्जी वट विल हैपन इफ सिग्नल एनर्जी इज रेडिएटेड इन द एटमोसफियर देन इट्स एनर्जी विल रिड्यूस एनर्जी विल रिड्यूस मीन्स रिडक्शन इज एनर्जी इज समवेयर इंडिकेटिंग द एटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द सिग्नल ओके मीन्स फाइनली वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट फॉर द हायर फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑपरेशन दिस ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज नॉट इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर द हायर फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑपरेशन ओके लेट सी वॉट इज एट एटिन्यूएशन सो एटिन्यूएशन इज नथिंग बट इन दिस केस ट्रांसमिशन लाइन आई हैव अप्लाइड वन पल्स एंड इट्स एम्पलीट्यूड इज ए एंड आउटपुट पल्स द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ आउटपुट पल्स इज ए डैस मैथमेटिकली वी कैन राइट ए इज ग्रेटर देन ए डैस सो आई कैन से देर इज रिडक्शन इन एम्पलीट्यूड सो रिडक्शन इन एम्पलीट्यूड इज नोन एज एटिन्यूएशन so <coughs> this condition must be uh, satisfied that condition is known as uh, th this condition uh, should not be achieved because in this case your uh, transmission line is uh, transmission line is behaving like a radiating structure while uh, uh, i want uh, i want transmission line as a a guiding structure so this uh, condition for uh, condition must be satisfied for the guiding structure okay so in next lecture we will see what is uniform transmission line how can we predict the uniform transmission line and uh, uh, examples of uniform transmission line balanced transmission line and unbalanced transmission line hopefully uh, you have got the things about the uh, transmission line so i if i uh, what is the conclusion of the first lecture transmission line is a two or more conductor system which uh, guides the energy or signal along its length that spatial balance condition must be satisfied this is the second important thing if if it does not satisfy then your transmission line will behave like a Uh, radiating structure okay uh, and uh, you have seen the what is attenuation reduction in amplitude is known as attenuation okay thank you very much and watch my second lecture of uniform transmission line thank you